Hey there, this is Thomas Shapiro. Just wanted to touch base and say thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you're having a great day. Before we dive in, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a context for the Pacific Northwest, specifically the Portland metro area and uh, what the market looks like here. So we're actually probably in one of the most competitive markets that we've seen in a very long time. Uh, and it's unusual given you know, the timing of things, but uh, rates are at a 50 year low. Properties, you know, there's really nothing on the market right now and what is available gets snapped up like that. So we are uh, trying to help people become better advocates for themselves and uh, you know, be more informed and be more ready. So if you are someone who is looking into buying and selling, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of great information. We're putting out new info every single week um, and it's definitely worth a watch. The topic that we're going to be focusing on this week is the top three types of properties that you can purchase at under market value in a competitive market like this one. All right, number one, property type number one is going to be condos. So what is a condo? A condo is a property where you own the interior space of the building. Um, so you own just that one unit. Everything around it is considered a common area and part of the ownership of the entire community. So what that means for you is that you have collected bills, you know, maybe you're all paying into some sort of an assessment, maybe you're paying into this, dues, this and that. So it's appealing to some people who really like having a low maintenance lifestyle, and it's less appealing to other people who realize that they'd rather just have that money set aside themselves rather than paying someone else. The other thing that's really interesting about condos is that they're really pretty homogenous. There's very few units that have unique characteristics. So when I say unique characteristics, I'm talking about corner units. I'm talking about properties that have really nice upgrades and finishes that distinguish them from other units around them. For that reason, uh, condos are typically, uh, because they're so similar to each other, uh, they typically sit in most markets, in most markets where it's not super competitive, and even in this market, they are sitting a little bit. I think that's a really uh, important thing to consider when you are making an offer on a condo. You don't want to overpay on it. And so this is the market that you would want to consider writing a low ball offer. Or maybe not a low ball offer, but writing a fair market value or below market value offer on one of these types of properties. And you could likely get your offer accepted because you don't have a lot of competition. But if you're someone who's keen on the idea of having a low maintenance lifestyle, you're not as concerned on return on investment, and you would rather not have to compete in this market, it's a pretty good solution, I think. Property type number two is going to be tenant occupied properties. So that includes single family and multifamily. Uh, these types of properties are, I think are really exciting because you have an opportunity to be you know, be able to create passive income for yourself. I think that's amazing. Uh, wealth building in, in some sort of way that doesn't involve putting out a 401k or an IRA or whatever. Um, there's an opportunity here to be buying these properties at market value or below, namely because there's just not a lot of people who are particularly keen on being landlords right now. Uh, most folks that we're seeing who are buying right now are actually looking into buying as primary residences. So you don't have the same competition you would in a normal market. It's a great opportunity to become, you know, the landlord of your dreams. Maybe you had a terrible landlord before, now you get to be the landlord that doesn't suck. So, um, and you get to make money. Property type number three is going to be homes with deferred maintenance. So we are seeing uh, that there is a much smaller investor pool for flippers right now in our market. We're not seeing nearly the competition that we normally do. And so it could be a great opportunity for you as a buyer to purchase that primary residence or to be that flipper or to, you know, live in the home for a couple years, get it fixed up and then move out, you know, make it your COVID project, whatever. World is your oyster. Um, so those are the three property types. If you have any questions, give me a buzz. Feel free to hit that subscribe button below, like I said, for lots of great updates and uh, insider information. Also, if you are looking into buying or selling in this market, you're gonna want a great advocate, one who knows the market, who knows how to negotiate, and who's a solid advocate for you. So. 
feel free to give me a buzz. Uh, my contact information is here. Also, social media links if you wanna check any of those out. And I um, hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.